hi guys hope you all doing well so here in this video we are going to analyze the standard mcqs on thermodynamics which are posted on our community of chem master official youtube channel and you already have answers of each and every question on that community but here in this video we are going to justify each and every answer with explanation so i hope it helpful for you then watch the video completely now just look at the first question the standard entropy of crystalline molecule ab which can exist in two forms in crystal at 0 kelvin is most of the aspirants choose in the first option as answer it is absolutely wrong and here we know the basic as the standard entropy of a pure crystal at 0 kelvin or at absolute temperature equals to 0 but here you can see the given crystalline molecule ab which is existing in two different forms that's why we can say that the given crystalline molecule ab is not a pure crystal we can say it as impure crystal for that impure crystal, the entropy must not be zero and it should be something else. So we need to find it. Okay, right. Here, the given crystalline molecule AB is existing in two forms. That's why the change in entropy of a mixture is mathematically expressed as delta S of the mixture equals to minus N1 or ln x1 minus n2 or ln x2 here the first expression is for the first form of the uh, crystalline molecule ab and second one for the second crystalline form okay right here n indicating the number of moles and r indicating gaseous constant and x, x indicating mole fraction okay now just substitute their values minus 1 by 2 into r into ln 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 or ln 1 by 2. Now, just simplifying it, you can get or minus or ln 1 by 2, and further we can return, we can write it as or into ln 2. Here, just substitute the value of gas constant that is 8.314 into ln 2. Now, just substitute the value of ln 2, then you will get 5.76 as the correct answer okay right now just look at the next question the enthalpy of formation of nacl is obtained from the enthalpy change from which one of the following process so the simple question here uh, we need to find the process which is involving the standard states that means each reactant and product uh, product must be in its standard state you can see sodium is is in its uh, standard solid form at the same time chlorine gas and also sodium chloride all of the reactants and products are in their standard state okay so that's why this process simply leads to the enthalpy formation of nacl okay so first option is the correct answer here you need to remember that uh, the standard states of the reactants and products must be there yeah the next question the criterion of spontaneity among the following so to answer this question uh, we need to look at the second law of thermodynamic uh, here second law of thermodynamics so from that we can express the mathematical equation for the change in entropy equals to dq by t so which can be written as dq is equal to t ds right and uh, we need to look at another important thermodynamical equation that is the change in internal energy equals to the change in heat plus the change in work okay so here d w now we know that that is the work done equals to minus p d v 
now just substitute dq and uh, dw value in that equation and uh, from that you can uh, write so du plus p dv minus t ds less than zero okay for an isolated system for an isolated system the heat and the work equals to zero and the change in volume equals to zero and the change in internal energy equals to zero so by just substituting that you can get ds with respect to internal energy and volume it is greater than zero okay so first option is the correct answer next question here the standard free energies of formation of h2s gas and cds solid at 1273 kelvin or minus 49 kilojoule per mole and minus 127.2 kilojoule per mole respectively the correct sentences for the reaction between h2s and cds is so just try to uh, write the equation here cadmium sulfide h2 leads to h2s okay right we know that the change in free energy is expressed mathematically as the sum of the change in free energies of products minus the sum of the change in free energies of reactants okay now just substitute the value here for that product that is for the h2s it is given as minus 49 kilojoule per mole minus and minus of 127.22 so that is for that uh, cds okay that is a reactant now the value is in plus that is plus 78.2 kilojoule per mole you can see the sign of delta g is positive we know that whenever the delta g is negative then the reaction is spontaneous and the reaction is possible but here we have the delta g as positive so the reaction is not possible okay so here the option is the uh, reaction is not possible is the correct one next question the enthalpy of vaporization of methanol is 35.3 kilojoule per mole at the boiling point of 64.2 degree centigrade the entropy uh, change for the methanol going from liquid to vapor is so just look at the given question here the enthalpy of vaporization of methanol is given as 35.3 kilojoule per mole whereas the options or the answers are given in joule per mole okay just look at the units here okay uh, now we need to write the equilibrium reaction between the liquid form of methanol with its vapor form okay right now for the equilibrium reaction delta g must be zero okay right and we know the important thermodynamical equation that is delta g equals to delta h minus t delta s so just take it as enthalpy of vaporization now just substitute the values here 35.3 here we have given in kilojoules so to convert into joules we need to multiply 35.3 with 10 power 3 okay so joule for mole minus the temperature is given as 64.2 so we need to convert it into kelvins so we need to add 273 okay into here delta s so which should be equals to zero because delta z equals to zero here okay from that you can write 337.2 into delta s equals to 35.3 into 10 power 3 joules and from the delta s equals to 104.7 joule per mole okay so simply what we say uh, it is approximately given as 105 so plus 105 here you can see uh, option is given here the third one that is the correct answer for it okay so uh, from uh, from this we have completed five questions and we are going to give next five questions we are going to make a video on the next five questions which will be given on 
um, our uh, our community of Kim Masters uh, official YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please click on like and share the video. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, just do it now for more updates. And if you are further interested, you can visit and join on chemmasters.online for the best uh, concept-oriented courses. Thank you very much.